Tonight, a confession from a killer. He explains why he stabbed his best friend's little brother. Julia Goodrich is in Discovery Bay tonight. Julia. Liz, this is where the little boy went to school. He was a third grader. Hard to believe this suspect, a family friend, has an explanation. But in a chilling jailhouse interview, he admitted to killing the little boy because he wanted to see what it was like. He would have like big smile on his face every single day. Nine-year-old Jordan Almgren's classmates found the courage to talk about their sweet and athletic friend they called Jordy. He would do anything to make someone happy. If it, if it would make their day, he would do it. He's just such a great little boy. This didn't deserve to happen to him. Hallie was Jordy's nanny. I would love to hear that voice again and he was just a special little boy and he'll always have a special place in my heart. Jordy was stabbed to death in his own home while he was sleeping. 18-year-old William Schultz, a friend of Jordy's older brother, was arrested and charged with murder. In a jailhouse interview, Schultz told the Contra Costa Times, quote, I wanted to see what it was like to take a life before someone tried to take mine. He also said he thought the world was ending. On Saturday, his family called the sheriff's department to have him committed for mental illness, but instead he was released after agreeing to seek medical treatment. He ended up spending the night at the Almgren home. But why did he take such a violent turn the next day? Dr. Laura Davies is a child psychiatrist. Mental illness is implicated in less than 5% of violent crimes. The, the number one reason is definitely substances, probably methamphetamine. At this point, it's really common and really prevalent. A lot of kids are doing it and their parents have no idea they're doing it. Schultz, who has an eight-year-old brother of his own, says he feels some guilt for the killing. He said, quote, I wish that I hadn't. I think about what if that was my little brother. In that sense, I do feel bad. I do have remorse for what I did, but there's a reason for everything that happens. And 24 hours before that killing, Schultz had been evaluated by medical doctors for mental health issues twice, but he did not meet the criteria for a 5150 to be held for 72 hours. In Discovery Bay, Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5.